Welcome back to chickenmaker.net. As always, the first step is to draw a chicken. As I'll be applying several effects to this one, I want to make sure I have a strong, detailed base to work with. There are enough videos of my basic MS Paint chicken technique, so I won't spend too much time on it here. As for what we will be doing today in particular, I will be applying several distortion type effects manually. First up is a light fuzz effect. A lot of what is being done in this portion will apply to the remaining effects as well, so you might want to pay more attention here. By adding slightly offset red and blue outlines, similar to the effect used in older 3D movies, you immediately get a slightly off effect which forms a foundation here. You can also see similar uses of the faux anaglyph in things like the TikTok logo. Next we will take small slivers and slightly offset them one way or the other, which will give it the obvious fuzzy, jerky effect that we're looking for. You can do this as much or as little as you want, but for this particular piece I wanted to just do a light fuzz effect, so at a glance you don't notice, but it looks just slightly uh, distorted. You may notice that I'm using multiple windows. This is due to my own chosen limitations, as this will be more straightforward with basic graphic software features like layers. Next up, we'll be applying basically the same effect, but more strongly. So, starting with the same red and blue outlines, or very similar, they don't need to be precise after all. We then just start by moving. By doing multiple sources in the same direction, you get a kind of curve, which may not be what you want. It's often better to go in opposite directions in order to make it look less uh, natural. By manipulating larger chunks of the image, we get a different effect from the one we used in the previous part. Thank you for watching. For more ChickenMaker.net, please visit ChickenMaker.net. Goodbye.